Titans of Salesmanship, Harry Brown on Salesmanship, 6 of 6. To understand how to close sales easily, let's go back and review everything in the sales process that has preceded the close. 1. You've encouraged the prospect to tell you about his problems, his concerns, his objectives, etc. In effect, he's told you what would be necessary for you to make a sale point too. You then organized and summarized the things he said, so that you now have a clear-cut understanding between you. You have a common agreement as to what is necessary to make the transaction point three. You then presented your product features and benefits to him as a solution to his problems, a way of getting what he wants, point four. Then you ironed out any details or questions in a period of informal conversation between you. If you have done your job in steps one to four, in Mr. Brown's experience, about half the time the prospect will tell you to write up the order. For the remaining times, when the prospect does not initiate the close, you must have at the ready a collection of closing questions that are simple, inoffensive, helpful ways of bringing the interview to a point of action. Here are some samples. 1. May I go ahead then and arrange to have this delivered? 2. You don't have any objection to my taking your order for this now while I'm here, do you? 3. Can I accept your statement as a firm commitment? 4. Is it all right then if I go ahead and write up the order? Here are some samples of the choice close. 1. Do you want that delivered express or regular? 2. Do you want the extended warranty or the standard? 3. Do you want the red model or the blue model? If he says, I'll think it over and let you know, and you believe he just isn't convinced, go back to steps 1 and 2 again. You can do it easily, without being awkward. Just say something like, I have the feeling that I haven't really understood your situation properly. Could we take a couple of minutes more to go back and fill me in on some earlier points? Now, as I understood it, here is the second possible reason for his wanting to think it over. The prospect hasn't been completely honest with you. This is an age-old sales problem. You've satisfied everything the prospect has said was important. But the prospect still says he'll think it over because he doesn't want to reveal the real reason he's not buying. If you take an interest in the prospect and develop the ability to ask the right questions, you'll get a much larger proportion of honest answers, but it can still happen. If you think it has, ask the prospect is there anything you haven't told me that might help me to better understand your situation? If the prospect just won't give you the information you need, the only thing to do is cross him off your list and spend your time with someone more promising. There are hundreds of sales books on closing techniques. Ignore every one of them that tells you that a prospect can be cajoled or manipulated into buying something he doesn't want with a magic closing technique.